In the last video, we made a farm assembly version 2, yet our main class was bound to version 1. So then we said, hey, main class.exe, when you execute, I want you to actually bind to version 2 just for tickles. I want to show you that we can bind backwards in versions. It doesn't necessarily have to go forward. These four numbers are pretty much arbitrary. It's up to you to use them how you like, but I will do a video on kind of the conventions later. Let's make a version 2 here. Just like we did in previous videos, C# -sharp compiler, please target a library. Give me a DLL file. Uh, the output file will be farm.dll. The key file, remember, we must sign it in order for .NET to use the uh, policies with redirections and versionings and that thing. Otherwise, .NET will only go off the name. The input will be main class.cs. This simple cow code. We're making a version to hit enter. And we now have our farm assembly version 2. Very well, let's compile main class this time against version 2. In the last video, we only did version 1, and then we redirected from 1 to 2 using the configuration file. But this time, I'm actually going to compile against version 2 of the farm. So C sharp compiler, please reference the farm assembly. And the input file will be main class.cs. We now have main class.exe, which is bound or referencing version 2 of the farm. Now, let's just say I'm from Backwardsville, and I like to count down instead of up with my versions. Maybe it's like that movie where that guy starts, was born as an old man and then turns into a baby and then dies as a baby. Who knows? Let's, let's bring this back in. Send this back out and change this back to version 1. Version 1, I'm going to use the up arrow to find the command to compile our farm DLL. We Remember, version 2 here, we're bound to version 2 from main class.exe, but now I'm going to change this to version 1 by compiling like so. So here we go. Hit enter, clear the screen, main class.exe bombs it's uh, I'm trying to find version 2 all right there was a version 1 but uh, I'm looking for version 2 well, let me just prove to you we can work backwards here the old version was version 2 but I want you to go backwards to version 1 again these numbers are pretty much arbitrary as far as .net's concerned I'll show you conventions later save the config file go here and say main class.exe and there you go we just bound to an old version of an assembly so Good deal. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you need to do that, you can, and that's how you do it. 